hi guys this is requested tutorial and i have created two versions of this this is sprite based which looks flat from the one side and this is mesh based so this is all 3d so let's start this tutorial so i received a mail from one of my subscriber i guess so he's asking to create a from this game a vortex like particle which is here if i play i am assuming this this part this white thing so let's make this for my subscriber okay so not watching this video i am not following this at all we will just make our own version so uh, i have two guns because first i will make a sprite version and second i will make a mesh particle version so let's make a material first m and i'll call it r and i will make a like hemicircle half circle material so let's say i'll take the mask and lay it to side it and i'll take the radial and i'll make this like 50 or maybe 500 very sharp okay and then i'll duplicate this thing and make the same density here and just make this one little smaller maybe uh, 0.5 is default maybe 0.4 so now this is smaller and this is bigger so if i subtract from big uh, subtract from bigger uh, uh, smaller i will have a ring and you can make this using a uh, texture you can make a texture for sure very quickly but i'm just showing you in the unreal engine okay and now this is ring so we need to offset one of these so i will offset this and this center point is 0 0.5 0 0.5 so if you take the two vector and 0 0.5 0 0.5 it will remain same but if you offset uh, one of axis like 0.45 now it's shifting and if i make it point 0.4 now it's almost up but i will make this little bigger point 0.45 okay and you can also take the same size for the both and just offset it will work so if i like make point 0.3 and now both are same size so don't take this is big or small both are same size if it's just i'm offsetting one so it's making that kind of thing okay so now i can take a particle color here and multiply this for the opacity and to animate this offset value i'll take the append vector and my y remain 0.5 and my x will be uh, will be a dynamic parameter so i can animate in the particle default value 0.48 okay i'll call it offset x okay all done let's save this so now i'll just make a niagara here and ns board we can call it muzzle or i don't need i don't know maybe it's projectile so i'll just take a fountain emitter and make it darker and see we have this so i don't need gravity and in the velocity i just need linear velocity maybe x uh, 50 for now it's going this side i don't need below uh, sphere location and spawn rate may be just 10 for now i don't need drag and also i don't need this now i will use this material arc here let it compile and first thing we will change uh, after this compile first thing we will change this is all camera facing so if i stop and see it's camera facing there should be a axis aligned let me also make this little big for now maybe 
25 and 20 and velocity less and now to make it uh, align on a camera i'll go here make it custom alignment custom facing vector and then i'll take the align to mesh orientation and by default it will align on the x axis and now we can rotate camera and see cool and i think we should also scale it down scale it up our life so i will take the size and not from zero maybe 0 0.7 uh, zero it's point 0.7 at one it's one or maybe 0.5 and you can also animate the that thing and dissolve thing. So if I take the uh, dynamic parameter, and if this is 0.48, this is how it looks. If this is 0.5, it will go on. So we can animate this also. So if I take this curve and at both ends, it should be 0.5, and in the center, it should be 0.48 and by point three maybe point four five little more thicker so it depends on you how you want it so first thing we have created this effect let's also make this little warm up here so it will be always there now i'll drag it here and i will drag it on one of my gun and just reset these things and then i'll move it here and we can rotate it like this so everything like uh, rotate uh, the movement and all thing we can also make this local if you want the velocity is also local and i think size we will increase maybe 40 and 35 i don't need mass yeah cool and i'll just go here toolbar 90 and just rotate it at once and yeah and maybe velocity uh 50. so this is first version and one more thing you can rotate these so i'll take the rate and like tool red so it's rotating on this axis you can randomize this so maybe 150 to 400 some slow some fast depending on it. second version we will make mesh particle base so i'll just make a new material first m let's duplicate that and i'll call it mesh open this material and we need a mesh like a tube so if i search and we i have lots of meshes this like these slenders i have but they have i think top and bottom i want just a tube yeah like this so I will preview this one inside my material. And what I need is, I don't need this. I'll just copy and paste. And if I preview, this is how it looks. And it looks perfect. We have to just scale it down on this axis. So to scale it down on the, on the, on this axis, what you can do, you can take the, scale uv there are lots of ways you can also use texture coordinate and do that so i'll just take the texture coordinate here and we just have to use two vector and one and one now if i make the y like 0 0.5 I compile 0 0.5 see it's working but because we will scale this slender down so i don't think we require this we can just scale the slender so now i will just directly use this here and nothing else so let's save this
And now I'll just duplicate my particle system. And I'll call this so mesh and close this so they will not be confusing. Open this. And here I'll just browse this mesh first. Instead of sprite, I'll just delete this. I'll take the mesh and I'll use this mesh here. First thing we need to rotate it 90 degrees. So I'll take the initial mesh rotation and instead of random this, I will need to rotate it on Y 0.5 like this. Then I will scale it. So I will take a non uniform and we need to scale it on Z like this. So we have these rings now. Now I will use this material. So for that, you need to override this material here and use. So you will have those rings that it compile. You have those rings. And now you can, you have this, so you can add some rotation on Z axis. So, but you have to duplicate this. And I'll just move it here. And see if this is zero and this is zero. That's weird. What I will do because I have put some values here. So this value you can put here also in the mesh uh, rotation, but you have to put 90 degree. Then you can make it zero. Now you can axis this axis x and randomize this so x is minus and one and one so you have randomized this instead of this you need to take the scale u scale mesh and then make it float and then make it curve again and this one from 5 from 0.5 to 1 same thing you can also randomize this here so now this is 1, 1 and 0 0.5, 0 0.1, sorry. So I'll make it, uh, use it like this and you can go here and just randomize this value here. 1 and 1.5 or maybe 2. And this thickness will be like, if you make it 0.5 is the thickness. So you can now randomize it, make it 1, 1 and make it 0 0.1 and 0.5 or 0.2. Okay, so this is mass based, and now you can just drag it here and drag it on the weapon, set this, and then move it here. So now you can see the difference. This, oh, this to move here. Now you can see the difference. It has this. Mm -hmm thickness and this is flat from the side angle but from this angle from the player camera angle it worked fine so these are the two why this is not aligned yeah so cool that's it thanks for watching keep learning bye bye